Well, no, you realise where I got mixed up. This lock, I thought, was before Gailey, but it was after Gailey lock. So in my mind, I had this lock in the wrong place. So that's why it was an awful lot further than I thought for the uh, next lock when I said it was uh, just around the corner. For some reason, I had this one in my mind, but um, oh well, got that one wrong. My plan was to stop on the moorings below Gailey Lock. There was no space at the inn, so I carried on. Such a beautiful sunny day, I thought, well, let's just keep travelling, Trev. So that's what I did. Well, I dropped this paddle once, and I walked back across the gate, ready to go and open the gate, and then close that paddle. By the time I got across the gate, the lock had dropped an inch. The bottom gates are leaking so badly, it wouldn't retain the level even with only one paddle open. Well, I've done a lot more locks today than I planned, but it's been such a lovely afternoon. I've just kept going. But i got to the point now where I need to find somewhere to moor up. I've got tired and hungry. I had breakfast this morning, that was it. This is one of the deeper locks I've done today. Good morning, and not a very warm one. Just one degree Celsius out here at the moment. That's about 33 Fahrenheit in old money. Uh, now I'm going to make a little bit of a move. I'll drop down one lock, then go and use the services, fill up the wall, so get rid of a bag of rubbish. Then drop down the next lock, I'm at Penkridge by the way. So I'm going to do the two locks here in Penkridge. Then how far I go, I don't know. I might just stop after doing the second lock, if it doesn't warm up very much. So yeah, time to make a move. So here goes, I'm actually sat on the bottom a little bit this morning. Uh, a couple of boats have been down the lock I think and uh, the pound's dropped a little bit. I'm just about pulling off okay. I bet some kids have some fun in that tree house. The Cross Keys pub here. I did actually pop in there last night for a quick pint. It was a quick pint. Um, I don't do any ales. Nice enough place, but so it's quite nice the fact there's a proper pub, it's just that they don't particularly do feel that I want a drink. They said they had uh, Banks as mild on, uh, well the, the um, bartender said, I asked what the Banks was, well, sir, it's the mild. I said, well, I'll, if it's the mild, I'll have one. If it's the bitter, I don't like their bitter. So she poured it, and I said, that's not a mild, that's the bitter. She said, no, 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 it's definitely the mild, anyway went off and found the landlady and the landlady says no we don't do the mild anymore we only do the bitter so well, I'm afraid I don't want that I don't I don't like that bitter so I, uh, I end up with a doom bar or something yeah I had the one done after I hadn't stopped till five o'clock yesterday I've been on the go all day I just fancy the pint uh, it's been a lovely lovely sunny day yesterday you know it's one of those or have a quick pint before coming back and doing my dinner. But that's all it was, was a quick pint. Now I know that the Boat Inn, which I'm coming up to shortly today, they uh, do hours in there, but I didn't fancy walking down there last night. It's quite a stroll down the towpath, and I was tired already. So I chose not to walk down there. And I was only having the one anyway, so it was a bit of a pointless walk. chilly out here this morning. Anyway, I've got a lock just around the corner. I'll catch up with you again in a moment. Nice name. Well, I've come down that first lock. I got help, so I didn't uh, actually record it. Uh, I've just moored over here now at the facilities. And uh, I'm going to fill up with water. There's a boat going down in front of me. So, if 
before I go down, I'll set the lock before I leave the water point. I'm now just leaving the uh, second lock here at Penkridge. Just going to find the Penkridge Bridge lock number 86, or the bridge number 86, the lock point four. Go around the lock number, it's all right, go around here. This is the boat in on my left hand side here. I've been in this pub for three years ago. I won't be going in there today. I really enjoyed it in there. Some very nice friendly locals. Oh. That's handy. I don't have to close the lock gates. That boat came along. lock after Penkridge. And this is Longford Lock. Well, that's what the sign says over there anyway. And Broom Bridge. Well, I thought I was in luck there. I saw this wood sawn up from a distance. But as soon as I saw it again, yeah, it's Willow. Um, I'll leave it. Somebody else can have the willow. Okay, which would you prefer? That or this? I know which one I prefer. Keep me out of that rat race, please. And this is the M6 motorway. Bridge number 88A. Oh, the tunnel. I've been through shorter tunnel. Careful. 
symbolised for. I'm uh, not into that sort of thing. So someone's gone through an awful lot of trouble making these and putting them on lock gates. They're on the stroppy as well. Well, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday, I had to do all the locks on my own, never saw another boat move when I was near a lock. Today, every time I've come out of a lock, there's been a boat waiting to go in. We turned up just as I was coming out. Absolutely perfect. It saves me closing those double gates at the bottom of each lock. It saves an awful lot of time. It makes my boat an awful lot easier. And of course, it helps everybody else out as well. I see there's a still rope barrier here between us and the road. I'm guessing that's to stop uh, cars coming in and using the canal as a car wash. Well, what a lucky day I'm having today. Unbelievable, there's a guy walking his dog, just parked up near the lock there, walking his dog, and his boater. And he said, you got a spare windlass? I said, yeah. He said, pass me up, I'll help you out. So, <laughs> he's just close the lock gates for me as well. So, what a day. Everything's going so easy. I don't know if I want to stop today, but it keeps going like this. No, I'll get too far. <laughs> no, just joking around. Um, yeah, it's absolutely great. This is the life on the boats, isn't it? Canal boats. Not even on this boat, you know, it's moored up um, the other side of Penkridge. And the marina up there, and it's just, yeah, it's brilliant. Walking his dog. Yeah. Got a spare window, so I'll give you a hand. Can't beat it, can you? Well, a kingfisher went into this tree somewhere, blow the bike and clear. Must have flown out the other side again. I guess Halloween's around the corner. These are quite nice linear moorings here. Trees behind, but not big trees which are going to fall on your boat particularly. Well kept driveway. So they've got a little garden area the other side of the driveway people use yeah, rather nice well I think this must be a hotel or something here I'm not sure it sort of looks like it doesn't it here it is as we uh, come right past the uh, other end the canal side Well, I've just moored up here. Just after passing that hotel. It's not far anyway. I think it's Billington. Don't quote me on that. I'll have to look it up. Well, I stopped and had my lunch. And it's clouded over a bit. But I'm going to make a move again. Um, it's about half two. I'm going to do at least another hour. Yeah, so I'm going to move on for about another hour. It's, you know, it's houses here and all that. I'd like to stop somewhere where I might be able to saw up and chop up a bit more firewood while well, it's nice weather. So I want to move on for about another hour and then stop again. I think normally this would have been a very, very nice place to walk. It's just I want to spread a little bit more secluded than I say because I want to do some firewood. I had good internet and everything here. But sometimes, uh, I want other things, so uh, yeah, somewhere where I can chop up some firewood. I really can't do it here, it's almost like a driveway. So the last bridge was Acton Moat Bridge, and this is just the Acton Bridge. Pretty sure there was some boats moored along here the last time I came along here, and there was a boat that came flying around the corner the other way on the canal, and uh, yeah, really wasn't paying attention. I got very close to hitting those boats. Just trying not to have a collision on the canal. Well, this is Deptmore Lock I'm just coming into now. And this is the penultimate lock for me on the um, Stratford and Worcester Canal. And this lock cottage here, 
the last time I came by here I'm pretty sure was derelict well now it looks like it's had quite a large extension put on the back yes it's looking rather nice it looks like it has all new windows in it very nice to see these old docks cottages getting restored and used as a family home I say a family home because there's toys in the back garden all the meadows are flooded here again I think this is the river Pink that floods these meadows and we just left Cambridge where the river Pink flows through I'm going to bring this video to an end here I've actually moored up just around the corner and walked back to film this and I'm going to make this next Wednesday's video a little bit of information on this link canal onto the River Sow which uh, links up into Stafford meanwhile I hope you all have a great Christmas which I think is in two days time and a happy new year although I will be putting more videos out before the new year. Of course, a big thank you goes out to all my supporters out there, all my Patreon, PayPal, Super Thanks, and of course, channel members, and everybody for watching my channel. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. It really helps the channel out. It makes the old YouTube algorithm notice there's more people joining, so it'll help promote my videos elsewhere. And click the old bell notification button and the all options button. That way YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. Well that just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out. Don't forget to watch next Wednesday's video when I will do a short video on this restoration project. Getting the canal back to Stratford. Well, waterways that is because some of it will be on the river. <laughs>